What if a ship could not only sail across a river, but actually climb a mountain? This isn't sci-fi or a video game. It's something that happens every day in China. A giant steel fortress of a machine is helping ships weighing hundreds of tons fly nearly 200 meters high, roughly the height of a 66-story building, in just a matter of minutes. This is the Gupatan Ship Elevator, nicknamed by netizens as China's Grey War God. Today, we're diving into how China transforms rivers blocked by hydropower dams into strategic transportation routes, using some of the most mind-blowing engineering marvels on Earth. Take the Wudongde Dam, for example, one of the world's largest and most advanced hydropower projects. With an installed capacity of 10.2 million kilowatts, it ranks just behind the Three Gorges Dam, showcasing China's technological strength and energy ambitions. But what truly stuns the world isn't just the numbers. It's how China uses its dams to connect, rather than divide, river systems. In Guizhou province, where jagged mountains and deep river gorges dominate the landscape, China didn't allow nature to interrupt shipping. Instead, it built an iconic solution, the Gupatan Ship Elevator, where vessels not only cross water, but climb mountains. The system consists of three massive hydraulic ship lifts with a combined vertical rise of 199 meters, the same height as Trump Tower in New York. A 500-ton ship is lifted step by step, like climbing a mountain by elevator, a daring feat of modern engineering. Each lift is powered by steel cables, winding drums, and high-precision screw gear systems with a margin of error within plus or minus 10 millimeters. It's also designed to withstand magnitude 8 earthquakes, ensuring absolute safety even in extreme conditions. The entire journey takes just 2.5 hours, compared to several days if the ship had to navigate around the mountains. This isn't just a time saver, it's a revolution in how inland waterway logistics is conceived. Thanks to this project, a brand new transportation corridor was opened connecting Gaozhou to the mighty Yangtze River. Locals call it the Golden Waterway, with cargo volumes now exceeding 5 million tons per year. The International Transport Association even described this as a redefinition of inland logistics, where rugged terrain is no longer an obstacle, but a catalyst for infrastructure innovation. Now imagine this. A ship silently glides into a massive structure in the middle of a forested mountain. Inside, instead of a port, there's a hydraulic lift, winding drums, and gearboxes, all moving in perfect sync like a mechanical symphony. In just 10 minutes, the ship rises to a new level, faster than some elevators in New York skyscrapers during rush hour. With a maximum load of 18,800 tons, this system isn't just for cargo ships. It handles barges, tourist vessels, and specialized craft across changing water levels from 72 to 200 meters. The system is tiered. After the first lift, the ship moves to the second, then the third, collectively climbing nearly 200 meters. This isn't just engineering. It's a bold, brilliant response to the challenge of fragmented mountainous terrain. Want some perspective? Gupitan's lift is over three times taller than the Arc de Triomphe, taller than the Great Pyramid of Giza, and even exceeds the height of the Statue of Liberty from base to torch. And the journey doesn't stop at the top. Once the ship is raised, a fourth elevator brings it back down to the reservoir behind the dam. Another 47-meter drop, automatically adjusted to water levels. Every part of the process is automated, synchronized, and operates like one giant mechanical conveyor system, humming smoothly as ships rise and fall.
And here's the kicker. None of this was built on an existing river. The entire system, from mountain excavation, artificial canal construction, to concrete superstructures, was created from scratch. China literally redrew the map of its inland waterways. While many countries rely on traditional lock systems to adjust for elevation changes, that wasn't an option here. Gupatan's terrain demanded something bolder. Cut through mountains, divide the route into tiers, and accelerate at every stage, turning the impossible into routine. The connecting canal alone stretches 2.3 kilometers, cutting through millions of years old limestone formations. Leveraging its experience from high-speed rail tunnels and mega infrastructure, China completed this $7.8 billion project, delivering results beyond measure. Gupitan may not have the fame of the Three Gorges Dam, but it's the key that unlocks Guizhou's inland economy, connecting remote mountain regions to the sea. Why not just build highways or railroads? Because Guizhou's geography says no. One cargo ship can carry hundreds of tons, while a standard truck only hauls 20 to 25 tons, at much higher cost, risk, and carbon emissions. This ship elevator may not be perfect, but it represents a giant leap forward. Proof that with vision and will, ships can climb mountains. And the images speak for themselves. A vessel enters a giant building and minutes later re-emerges at a completely new elevation, like something out of a science fiction movie. Think this is a one-off? Think again. China also operates the world's largest ship elevator at the Three Gorges Dam, capable of lifting 3,000-ton ships over 113 meters in just 40 minutes. This engineering marvel combines scale, speed, and military-grade safety systems with symmetric drives, shock absorbers, backups, and tight operating protocols. Together, Gupitan and Three Gorges prove one thing. For China, infrastructure is not just about steel and concrete. It's about national vision and strategic intent. Gupitan doesn't have to be the biggest. It just needs to be smart, effective, and capable of driving real change. This is next-gen infrastructure, where ships don't just carry cargo, they carry the ambition of a nation. So the next time you see a ship flying up a mountain, remember that's not just engineering. It's the story of people rising above their geography and rewriting their future with sheer determination. Now tell me, what do you think? If you had the chance, would you board a ship that climbs mountains instead of sailing calm rivers? And in your opinion, what's the most mind-blowing infrastructure project humanity has ever built? Drop your thoughts in the comments. I can't wait to read them. If you love this journey through mechanical miracles, hit that like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to ring the bell so you never miss the next adventure with the titans of engineering. See you in the next video, where we explore more things you never thought possible.